Hello, it's the tree. Um, this is a follow-up video to uh, going back to my Master Masons and doing the chant <coughs> in order to um, secure an the anchor that this, um, what I think is a disembodied reptilian. When the reptilians are, when I say disembodied, When I say disembodied, I mean they don't have human bodies. They inhabit human bodies here on this dimension um, through the secret societies, the various secret societies in the Illuminati pyramid, you know, depicted on the dollar bill. I can't see it. Let's make it a little brighter. Um, well, I didn't call my Master Mason today, and I didn't, and I didn't, go and do the chant. I slept all day and had some weird dreams and uh, the having Draco the reptilian, you know, like when I put the crystal on my head and did the chant and then brought him in, you know, when I did it in my room last week or whatever, um, and they came through and but now they're gone. They're not, the anchor has been, they lost the anchor. We've lost the anchor. The anchor is no more. Um, so they wanted me to wanted me to go back to my master mason's office and do the chant with the inhabitation. Let that happen with holding the crystal on my head. And I know that um, I know that there's the reptilians. Are the reptilians real? Yes, I know so. Most of you, a lot of you people don't believe in them, but I think a lot more people do believe and know that. Can we, can we decide, okay, are the reptilians real? Can we come to that agreement as far as what's going on here? Are the reptilians real? Yes, they are. Are they liars? Yes. They're not only master geneticists, master scientists, master math mathematicians, master, master surgeons, master... Um, master scientists, master, master geneticists, or genealogists, or whatever. They're also master liars. <laughs> um, they're master liars. The devil has been a liar all through time. And they've learned how to manipulate us humans through our emotions and by lying to us because we have, we're not always able to tell if somebody's lying to us. And so some of the biggest decisions we make that affect us in our world and our immediate future, our permanent future and everything about us, our destiny and everything depends on the decisions we make according to what we are told and whether we're told the truth or not. Okay, so have the reptilians lied to me? Well, yeah. Leo lied to me and he's penned our son, a human son, been penned out before the body he inhabited, died the baron's body. Um, pen, or Leo came out of that arrangement, but um, he's working for them. Yeah, as far as I'm concerned, did he ever come get me to help me put me through the fast? And I can't do this by myself. I, I'm sorry, I have no discipline or work hard. The 44 day fast, I haven't been able to make it through two. And plus, if I gotta go alone, I don't, I'm not gonna go at all. But I have, so the reptilians, you know, like, Leo said he was gonna come get me and he didn't, and then they told me that George Bush is gonna come help me and get me and take me to do the fast and then they told me a lot of things and so I've been bullshitted yes I've been lied to I know that and I know that another thing too I just remembered was quite strange that I thought about today was I remember Pendar telling me I don't know where Pendar Draken is um, right now but uh, you know, another thing they could be doing too, another trick too, is be to have me go there and do the chant, put the crystal on my head, would be for them to get P Pendar out. Because Pendar, after the body he inhabited died, he would have flew off into the abyss and been completely severed from creation, from this world, from all creation, from everything, just like out of the abyss, nothing. And so my energy field, I've allowed him to stay anchored into this dimension through my energy field, even though I can't hear him, I can't feel him, I can't be for sure. 
because he has no power inside of me at all whatsoever if he's there which i've been told he is and was and i think it's possible because it makes sense and plus we talked about this before he even the body he inhabited even died but um so oh she has to start thinking about too many things at once Okay, so have they lied to me? Yes. Um, they could be trying to get Pendar to suck them out. They could be trying. Who knows? Who knows? But I remember Pendar told me before that a male reptilian cannot inhabit a female woman, human. Like, staying anchored in my energy field and stuff, yes, okay, he can. He's male. But in order to actually inhabit me, he told me that it had to be the same sex. And he told me that there are f f female reptilians, not as many, but they're still subservient to the male, but still, um, so, I was thinking, well, Draco, Drake, you know, coming through me and stuff, is a boy, I thought, Pandora told me that they could not inhabit a girl, and so I'm wondering if the queen, the reptilian that's in the queen, or some other reptilian queen, <laughs> or lady, or whatever, I don't know, I don't know, I don't really know, okay, I'm trying to keep this from me, making me go crazy, and I'm trying to make sure that I don't lose sight of what's really going on. Um, the reptilians, when I say that they are disembodied, I mean they don't have human bodies on this dimension because they, look, they can only have human bodies by inhabiting them. They can't just take your aura or take your body. You have to give them permission, and that's what the secret societies are for, the masons, the golden... Dawn, the gestures, the Shriners, the Elks Club, the um, even the Boy Scouts and the Girl Scouts, believe it or not, is part of the Mason Masonic Illuminati thing. But still, that you have to give them consent and pledge your allegiance. So once you join their secret society, you basically give your soul to them, and then, then they can do what they want with you. But when I say disembodied, I mean they have any human body. I'm talking when I say the reptilians do not have bodies. Well, on their dimension, where they're at, their hell or whatever. They are in physical f form, in their own reptilian form. Um, by the way, you know, you might not believe this is crazy. Do you, do, do you know what the reptilians really, really look like, truthfully? The video that I have, or I mean, the movie that I halfway uploaded, um, The Crystal Caves, Dark Star, Dark Crystal Prophecy, or whatever I called it, you know, a few videos ago. Well, the reptilians, the lizards in that video, that's exactly what they look like. <laughs> exactly. But they're not cartoon though, but they're much more fierce, much more frightening. Um, and they don't use forks. 